partner with Beth Ringo again. Oh, what about it? Well, everyone knows Marloway intends marrying her. I'll tie that tongue of yours, Skeeter. How did you manage to tear yourself away from the ranch long enough to take me riding? Oh, uh, well, I've been wanting to talk to you for a month. Well, you've had plenty of opportunities to do that. Skeeter, yeah. Ride over to Willow Springs and pull down some of Roper's fence. Then let our cattle into the deep grasslands. What about Roper's men? They're all in San Jose with the beef herd. I'm going to the ranch. What did you want to say? Well, uh, what I had in mind, uh, rather, uh, did you say uh, Mile Away and his wild bunch of riders are up on the North Range? Yes, why? Well, I thought it uh, might give me a chance to... For what? Well, uh, ride over and talk to your uncle. I'm surprised that a man of your courage and reputation should have to wait until Mr. Roberts is away. Well, uh, but uh, he's your uncle's partner, and he seems to have a lot to say. About the ranch, yes. Not about me. It is customary to talk to a girl with guardian about marrying her. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, talking about horses, cattle, or rangeland, that's easy, but <laughs> asking for you takes a little different kind of nerve. If you never ask, you'll never get. Well, I guess you're right, Beth. Will you ride along slow and give me a chance to talk to your uncle alone? Best of luck, dear. There you are. Oh, say, Beth, did I ever show you this one? Ta-da! <laughs> well, I'll see you at the ranch, Beth. Wildcat. What do you want to see me about, Mr. Ringold? Oh, uh, sit down. I just wanted to find out if you got rid of your beef herd in San Jose all right, Wildcat. Sure I did. And I got a good price for him. He was hog fat. Yeah, that's what I wanted to speak to you about. Uh, me and my partner, Milo Ray Roberts, have uh, been having a pretty tough time since drought started. No water, hardly any grass. Our cattle are in bad shape. Now, you've got plenty of water and grass on that Willow Springs section of yours, and I thought if we could make a deal to, uh... No, you can't, Rengold. If I ever let you in on my range, I'd never get you off. Well, maybe we could figure out a partnership deal. <laughs> Me tie in with you and Mile Away, Roberts? Oh, no. Call that slippery cuss Mile Away, because he's always a mile away from every job he pulls when the blow-off comes. Well, if this drought keeps up, bank credit... It's liable to be mighty hard to get this fall. You don't need to tell me that you control the only bank in Mesquite. But here's one cowman that don't need you nor your bank credit. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Them's my sentiments, and I don't care who knows them. Proposition Wildcat about using his range for our cattle? Yes, he won't let us inside of his fence line. We've got to get feed. Our cattle are starving. Now, if we can just get in on Wildcat's range, we can drive our stock over his ranch to the Indian lands, where the grass is stirrup high. Yes, but Buck Sinclair's got all that land under lease from the government, and he and Wildcat Roper worked their stock together. I know that, but Sinclair's lease expires at the end of this month. That's right. And without bank credit, he can't renew his lease. You're right again. I'll telephone the bank right now. Hello. Yes, this is Harmon. Oh, hello, Ringo. 
Is Buck Sinclair getting the money from our bank to renew his lease on that deep grass Indian land? Well, yes. I promised that we'd back him. Don't let him have a thin dime. Well, he owes us plenty already. If he doesn't get his lease back, he won't be able to fulfill his obligations. It'll ruin him. All right, ruin him. I'm bidding in that deep grass land myself. Oh, George. Yeah. Come here. Coming. Didn't you tell Beth to stay away from the Sinclair place? Sure I did. Well, one word from you and she does just what she pleases. I saw her and Sinclair together again today. Oh, I thought she'd gone over to Kelly's to attend a sick kid of his. Well, it isn't one of Kelly's kids who's getting attention right now. Now's your chance to tell them where to head in at. Now, what do you want? Well, uh, I'd like to speak to you uh, alone. Marloway Roberts is my partner. And if I have to listen to your powwow, so is he. Well, but this is a personal matter. Call your hand as the cards lay or get out of the game. Well, uh, it's about your niece, Beth. I want to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see anything funny. It's you that's funny. You ain't going to marry Beth now or ever. In fact, she's going to marry my partner here. Oh, why, Mile Away Roberts never gave a man a decent break, let alone a woman. You asked for an answer and you got it. Now go on, on your way. Get going out of here. Now, wait a minute. I'm talking to Ringgold, not you. Uh, let go of that. Oh, let go of my leg. Come on, let go of my leg. <laughs> go. <laughs> Now listen, you've got to listen to me, Mr. Ringo. I've done all the listening I'm going to do today. Here's a lucky piece. It's it off your watch chain. Why didn't you give me a hand when that big moose grabbed my leg? I never interfere in personal fights. Buck. Oh, mile away showed up as usual. I was afraid of that. I think we can accomplish more if you let me talk to Uncle alone. Hey, how about you and me going over to Mesquite and getting married and then talking it over? Oh, we couldn't do that. Mile away's been running rough shot your Uncle long enough. From now on, I'm going to take a hand in things. I don't blame you, Buck.
Come on, you dirty snakes! What are you pounding on me for? Well, I thought you was Wildcat. Hold it. Oh, so it's Milaway's playful little bunch, huh? Well, see if you can put that fence back up as fast as you took it down. Get at it. on the job. All right, keep working. Thanks, Wildcat. Thanks is coming to you, Buck. If it hadn't been for you, them vomits would have clawed me to pieces. Oh, you were doing some clawing yourself in there. Yes, and that ain't half I'm going to do. Them two hour outfit don't stay outside my fence line. When'd you get back from San Jose? Sun up. I hightailed it back here. See if you're going to get your lease renewed. Oh, sure I am. Stockman's Bank's backing up my bid. <laughs> That's the ticket. If that Ringold and Robert ever get a hold of those deep grasslands, they'd run every cowman in the valley out. to speak to your Uncle Beth? No, Mileway Roberts always seems to be on hand. <laughs> he holds a whip hand, doesn't he? Looks that way. Well, if we give him enough rope, he'll hang himself. I hope so. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry I said that. <laughs> Say, uh, will you be in town tomorrow? Nothing could keep the double R outfit away from the federal auction. Oh, fine. Well, I'll see you there, then. All right, Buck. I hear this melody, and my heart's at rest. Oh, it's a melody that belongs to the West. Someday I'll roam, but I never say goodbye. Hey, 
I'm through. You understand that, don't you? Sure I do. Oh, so Ringgold and Roberts think they have me roped and hogtied, huh? Well, I can't help that. Well, you wouldn't if you could. Ringgold's the biggest stockholder in your bank, and you'll do just what he says. A wink is as good as a nod to a blind horse. This looks like a trap to me. Somebody's going to get caught. Go right back where you belong. But I only wanted to know much about it now. On your way. Well, Jake Harmon double crossed you, huh? How did you know? Well, a wink's as good as a knot to a blind horse. Yeah, you're right. I'm all voiced up. I won't have enough range left to feed a jackrabbit. How much you been paying on that present lease? 20 cents an acre a year. But you're going to get your lease renewed, no matter what it costs. How can I? I'm flatter than a flapjack. They called me wildcat, because when they rub my fur the wrong way, the sparks begin to fly. And right now, my fur is getting kind of itchy. And the sparks is just about due. <laughs> This is a federal place by public bidding. Certain lands in charge of the Indian Department by authority of the Secretary of the Interior and the President of the United States. Okay. Gentlemen, you're all familiar with the placement of said lands. Number one includes, as previously arranged, an estimated 100 sections, approximately 64,000 acres and called the Deep Grass Indian Lands. Be known hereafter as Block Number One. The lease on this government land is held by Buck Sinclair, operating the Circle S Ranch. Present lease expires the 30th day of this month. Now, gentlemen, I am ready to receive bids on Block Number One. Start your bidding, boy. 20 cents, same as I've always paid. 25 cents. 30 cents. 35 cents. 35. I'm bid 35. 40 cents. 45 cents. 50 cents. 55 cents. I beat you that time. <laughs> 55. I'm bid 55. Any advance on 55? I'll bid 60 cents. Sixty-five cents. Why, that man hasn't got a red cent to back up his bid. I told you all the time, that guy. All bids at this auction will be accepted only as representing United States gold. And Sinclair hasn't got the price of his shirt in United States gold. Why, he's up to his neck in debt. Ask the bank president. Go get him, boy. Thanks, Wildcat. I will. This check represents the Sinclair Roper interest. The fishing guarantee of the Sinclair Roper bid. Any advance on 65 cents? That deep grass land ain't worth 65 cents an acre on outright sale. Sinclair's trying to force the price up. So when I bid enough that he knows it'll break me, he'll drop out and leave me holding the sack. No one is forcing you to bid, Mr. Ringgold. And let him have it at 65 cents. He'll be glad to turn it back to the government before a cow has chewed a cud off of that grass. No advance on 65 cents? Last time? Sold. 
The lease on block number one goes to the Sinclair Roper Partnership at 65 cents an acre per year. If the details of this auction are not completed by the 15th of this month, the lease will be declared in default. And they got you by the tail on a downhill pull that time, didn't we, Mile Away? If you furnish Sinclair the money to go through with this deal, you'll bite off a chunk that'll choke you, you lop-eared jackrabbit. A lop-eared jackrabbit? I'm a wildcat, I am! Quiet! Quiet here! Order in this meeting! Don't call me to tell you off here, Jack Rabbit. Get away with it. Hop over to the post office and get the mail, will you, Beth? Things are bad enough without you making them worse. What are you driving at? Can't you see that every cow man in this room was against us, hook, line, and sinker? We've got to start making friends not enemies. Quit preaching. We've gotten out of worse jackpots than this. If we do get the contract from the government to furnish beef for that construction camp at Beaumont, how are we going to handle it without the deep grasslands? Sinclair can't put over this deal without Wildcat Roper behind him, can he? Well, of course he can't. Well, I'll listen, Malloway. I don't want don't any... Don't tell me what you want. Just figure on what you're going to get.
Sullivan, is he? Oh, Sullivan. Set him up. Where you been? Oh, just milling around town. Got that man you told me to pick up. Sundown Sontag. How are you, Sundown? None the better for your asking. You don't like me, do you? No. Never did and I never will. Do you know Buck Clare? Yeah, no, I've heard he's a square shooter and pretty fast at the gun. Yeah, that's why I All right. Thank you, Freak. Just because I take money from you, I don't have to associate with you. What's the matter? You're not packing any hardware. Where are your guns? I'll have them when I need them. Funny kind of a cuss, isn't he? Eh? Yeah. Come on, Solomon, let's have it. Buck. What happened to Mr. Roper? He was killed out near Twin Peaks. Who could have done such a thing? Wildcat was killed because he backed up my bid on the Indian lands. There's only one outfit that wants my land. Do you mean that? What else could I mean? The double R is out to grab a deep grass land, same as they've hooked a lot of other ranches in this valley. You don't know what you're saying. You're accusing my uncle and mile away Roberts of... Sure I am. A dozen men have tried to buck them before. Men older and wiser than I am. You know what happened to them. I only know what range gossip says. I'm not blaming you, Beth. Things look so hopeless. Why stay here and try to fight? Let's go away somewhere and start all over again. You can sell out. We'll build a new outfit all our own, away from all this trouble. You want me to quit? Won't you try to understand, dear? It's for your sake as well as mine. What I have is mine, and I intend to hold on to it. Please, Buck, do what I say. I will, Beth, in anything but this. Then you and I are through. Oh, you mean that? Yes, I do. Every word of it. Well, I guess that settles it. Hardware I checked in, will you, Sullivan? Wildcat Roper was killed today. So we heard. But it was just too bad. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to give the killer a taste of his own medicine. the great Sinclair, eh? You can leave out the great sundown. Oh? You've heard about me, huh? Never heard anything good. They tell me that you claim to be pretty fast with a gun. Oh, well, I never said that. You lie. Draw your gun and go to work. I ain't a-packing any hardware just now, Sinclair. But I will be at five o'clock. Who's paying you to fight me, sundown? Well, that ain't going to bother you none, Sinclair. Not where you're going. <laughs> Maybe not. But I advise you to collect the money for the job in advance. If you expect to get paid. Don't let him out of your sight. What do you do for that horn?
Thanks, Sundown. Well, that's all right. I just didn't want anybody else cooking my meat, that's all. I'll see you at 5 o'clock. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting. I won't. What started all the rumpus? Sinclair was mighty suspicious of that bronc of yours. He'll stop being suspicious along about five o'clock. Hello, Punk. Hello, Hans. Say, have you got a little uh, single action 22 or something like that? Oh, yeah, sure. It's, uh, well, it's, it's pretty old, uh, but still pretty good. That is to say, if you want to shoot squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see. Well, that will cost you about, uh, well, about two bucks. Oh, that's all right. This will do. I'll take this. All right, thanks. <laughs> I have a date with a fellow at five o'clock. I don't want to hurt him too much. <laughs> well, I wish you good luck. <laughs> From what I hear, there ain't no one as fast as is your sundown. I'll say. But I just can't figure how he works. Well, he believes in a few hours waiting makes the other man nervous. Then when they meet, the somebody's so shaky, he can't shoot straight. Oh. Outsmarts him and then outshoots him. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon that's it. But choosing this guy St. Clair ain't no child's play. Glass of water. I bet you ten to one sundown beats Sinclair to the draw. Ah, don't get reckless with your money. I'll bet you ten dollars that Sinclair doesn't even show up. You lose. Here he comes. Well, I'm here on time, Sundown. Gunplay must be bad, Sinclair. As fast as you are, you should have got me between the eyes. Well, I didn't want to, Sundown. I just shot through your shoulder with this little pop gun here. Yeah. What, you mean that you didn't try to kill me? Why, why should I? I haven't got anything against you. But I have against the man who hired you to do that shooting. Get him over to the hospital, boys. Just a minute, Sinclair. We are holding you for the sheriff. I'm taking orders from no one until after the 15th. I've got a date at the county seat with the land. Skeeter, go over to Judge Hardy and swear out a complaint against him. Hey, 
Hey, Skeeter! Stay where you belong, Skeeter. The must have given us a slip back there at Twin Peaks. Ah, sure he did.
What are you looking for? I lost the lucky piece off my watch chain. Yeah? You'll be lucky if that's all you ever lose. Say, what's the matter with you lately? You're worse than a bear that's been caught in a trap. That's just about the way I feel. In a trap. Quit worrying. With Wildcat packed away, we're sitting pretty. And nobody's gonna stop us from running the whole valley to suit ourselves. You're overlooking Buck Sinclair, aren't you? I don't think he'll cut much ice. Why not? Because Skeeter and the boys will take care of him. Well, Mrs. Kelly writes some interesting news. Well, let's have it. The sheriff is back in town, and he's called a meeting of all the other ranchers. I wonder what for. Don't you realize that the whole valley is against you in your fight with Buck Sinclair? The sheriff is probably going to try and stop it before the ranchers start a range war. Maybe he's too late. Listen, my way. You deliberately started this whole thing yourself. We never hired any gunmen or cattle rustlers until I took you into partnership. Well, if you don't like me for a partner, why don't you get out? You're crazy. If anybody gets out, it'll be you. Well, did you get Sinclair? No, he nearly got me instead. Well, you've got to get him if Slug and the boys haven't done it already. And then move all of our cattle to the deep grasslands before the ranchers have a chance to make a move. Get that long-legged jackrabbit. Oh, no, all we got was a saddle roll. Sinclair rigged up as a dummy. Probably figured you as dummies, too. Now listen carefully. The ranchers is having a meeting in the sheriff's office. We gotta run all the cattle over into Sinclair's rangeland before they get a chance to make a move. Huh. What good'll that do? Well, Molloway figures if we don't get Sinclair, the sheriff will throw him in jail for trying to shoot sundown. And he won't get months. Then Molloway can grab Sinclair's rangeland. And once we get our cattle across that fence line, we can hold it against every rancher in the valley, even if we have to use hot lead. <laughs> Just like we got rid of them other two outfits east of here. Yeah, <laughs> same way. <laughs> it's Sinclair. Got some sense in You know, Sheriff, I'm beginning to like that long, lanky lizard Sinclair. Say, I'm going to throw in with him. That is, if he'll have me in his outfit. Yeah, we all figure he's ace high. Well, Sheriff, you sure got a funny way of showing it. Why, the only reason that you ranchers are still in business is because Sinclair has been fighting Ringgold and Roberts to try and hold on to his rangeland. That's why we call this meeting. The double R outfit has been running hog wild too long over this country. Okay. Well, now you're talking, Sheriff. My boy Sinclair has never refused to throw up in his rangeland for you and your stock. But let me tell you something, that if Ringgold and Roberts once get a hold of it, they're gonna ruin every rancher in this valley. Sheriff will take care of him. 
Double R riders pushing cattle through Willow Springs to deep grassland. Boys, we're going to have a showdown with a double R. Hey, now, wait a minute, Sheriff. I'm going, too. Oh, you stay here and play office boy. What? A killer with my reputation? You had a reputation once, Sundown, but it ain't worth a nickel now. engineered the killing of Wildcat Roper. How should I know, George? It has all the earmarks of one of your job. What's the matter? Are you getting weak in the knees? No. I'm just getting strength enough to call for a showdown with you. From now on, we operate the double R on the square, or you and me are through. You're covering a lot of territory, aren't you? Not half as much as I'm going to cover. The first thing I'm going to do is to call in all of our riders. I've trained that bunch to answer nobody's call but my own. Well, if they won't obey me, maybe they'll listen to the sheriff. I don't think you'll be squealing to the sheriff. Oh, no? No. Well, you just watch me. Hello, Beth. Open up. Open up or I'll break it in. Open up. There. What's the trouble? Uncle and Mile Away have been quarreling. I'm afraid something terrible has happened. Is that Mile Away in there now? Yes. Open the door when I give you the signal. Last time I'm going to tell you. Open up. Get him up a mile away. Take his gun, Beth. I'll back up. George Rangold. How should I know? Scout around and see if you can find him, Beth. When you shot down Wildcat Roper, you left a visiting card behind. And here are the three empty cartridges you used. I found that watch charm at Twin Peaks.
another empty shell you can add to your collection, Sinclair. Right between the eyes that time, Sinclair. It's going to be mighty lonely here without you two. I uh, can't see why you have to set up housekeeping over at Buck's place. <laughs> oh, we'll be back just as soon as I can get the work started on the deep grass range. Goodbye, Uncle. Come along, Beth. We'll be over to see you later, Mr. Ingold. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> 